Pak. Moment, I think it was when you fell over, I thought you might have been hurt. I don't know, maybe so did my heart. <laughs> Okay, so I'll read the English bit because that's more pronounceable. Recreational motorists are asked not to proceed beyond this point. Failure to comply could result in full-time closure. The future of recreational motoring is in your hands, Green Lane Association. So I think it's going to be a no um, from that point of view. It's got pictures of Land Rovers, but it's still going to pee people off. So it looks like a nice valley. It's fuel. It is for fuel, yeah. I haven't got any in it at the moment. Didn't think I'd need it. <laughs> And that one's for water, but it's got a hole in it because when I dropped it the other day, an old repair popped. So, oh. But they're going anyway, being replaced with panniers at some point soon. Right. And what's your, what's your range to get on here now? 200. 200? Yeah. yeah. Why, what did you get on that? My light starts flashing with 120. I never got 200 out of that. I've got 65 miles to the gallon on the way here. And then what we're doing now, I'll get about 40. Yeah, I'll get less on this, but uh, on the way here, I've got 80. 81. Yeah. Chris, you got it started. Last, yeah. last, uh, well done. last charge on the on the starter pack. Well done. Well done. So 15 mile detour now because of um, the, the Green Lane Association, the glass sign. It is what it is. Uh, it's fair it's, it's point, isn't it? It's just trying to. We, we sort of we, we whinge and moan about 4x4s and, and enduro bikes and stuff like that, sort of wrecking these bases for us yeah so but then people weep when the glass does something like that yeah, yeah. A voluntary restraint on so no, it's, it's, uh, we, we, we're being very good citizens <laughs> understanding Unders understanding <laughs> i'd do it i'd just go i've got no more ah you just recorded saying that <laughs> <laughs> Lane. I'm good. I thought you said right. It's in right over to the right. Yeah. Oh. Now <laughs> Tim. <laughs> dive, dive, dive. So Tim, would you? All right, these waterproof socks aren't working. <laughs> Wait. 
I think I hit the deepest bit, yeah? <laughs> Come on! <laughs> right, I think the only word is Good <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> what? Just laughing at me. <laughs> we haven't even got to the bad bit yet, have we? I don't know, mate. That's where I went in. <laughs> yeah, up to my waist. <laughs> I think that bit was a lot easier than the middle. <laughs> Join you, I'm already bloody wet. Didn't even touch sun guard. 
Well, I did have until uh, <laughs> My head is the same level as your feet, so it's about a six foot, five and a half foot drop, five yeah, foot drop. So this is the bit that <coughs> Lane is famous for, um, which is this drop or step up, depending which way you're going. <laughs> see how we, have, we all do, hopefully no injuries. people everywhere I got a bit worried <laughs> go your <own> way <laughs> well done folks that's amazing I've seen that so many times on YouTube that yeah. step yeah. yeah what do you reckon the chances of our of a Hemi getting up it I reckon you get up that bit as long as you have the confidence to hit it you get up that bit but I don't think you'd get up the steps on the other side unless you build a ramp or something which which bit would you get up get up that's here the bit that we've just come down I think you get up there yeah I think you would if if it wasn't already covered in water. That no, might... I think you get up it with just with a bit of confidence and a bit of go. You'd, yeah. You've got tyres. Yeah. You get up on the M7s, I think. What sort of speed? You'd have to hit it about 10, 15 miles an hour, wouldn't you? Yeah. Yeah. yeah it'd have to be a yeah, good pace. You can crawl it. If you crawl it, you won't go. You've just got to kind of try and. Yeah. It's hard. Lane done. <laughs> Let's see what, what the state is inside the sock. It feels wet, but it's actually dry ish. Is it? No. <laughs> See how wrinkly my toes are. 
Oh, mate. Well, that little, little um, medium walkproof socks are not as it says on the tin. <laughs> oh, it's trapped the water in. <laughs> Can't get the water out of it. Lane was slightly less deep. Yeah, I think they've got tractors around here with one wheel bigger than the other. <laughs> Good day today. I think we've had a really good few days to be fair. 
drive, take We've it down. We've achieved what we yeah, to cool, achieve. Yeah, I will do. I'll, I'll, I'll okay. go when I need a week. What was your most scary moment up today? Um, you when, fell off, didn't you? No, oh, I dropped it at the bottom of that uh, cliff face, didn't I? Oh, yeah. Cliff face. That's why I need to drop. It's all, it's all, all weekend, running. all, all breaks, all holiday, whatever. Well done, I had loads, I don't know. No, no, I'm sure I did one on the first day. Yeah, I'm sure I did one on the first day. Yeah, no big thing. Uh, my scariest moment, I think, was when you fell over. I thought you might have been hurt. I don't know, just in my heart. <laughs> but, uh, I, I don't know which uh, falling over instant you, you refer to. Pick any. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, as long as your heart was sad, then I'm happy. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely worried me. I thought you might have been hurt. Katerina. Tell me things. Woo! <laughs> it probably won't pick you up because it's too dark. My favourite bit was that last bit. Yeah? The, yeah. Where we went through all those hills, central world hills. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was awesome. And yesterday, when I was at the front and we were getting towards the top, um, there was some flat puddles, and like because there was no wind or anything, yeah. you could just see all the sky and the clouds and everything all reflected in the puddles. I was like, oh, amazing! Look at that splash! Look at that one splash! That was amazing. <laughs> Loved, it. Loved it. And and obviously you're just the hero of the moment, aren't you? Chris? The, the hero. <laughs> with your, with your, with your do, do you know what? It, like, I'll, I'll tell you some truth now. So when I bought that thing, it was a complete whim. It was just like, do you know what? Let's let's do this. I'm going to do something stupid. And I actually genuinely didn't think it was gonna it was gonna make it to Wales. You know, the, the first 120 mile to get it. <laughs> and I, I, honestly, and I was at, well, no, on the way up here, I was yeah. absolutely pooing myself, thinking that you know the belt was going to go or something like. Because I didn't service it. I did, I did nothing to it because I didn't have time. So I just yeah, but it's gone from strength to strength, hasn't it? And it's yeah. It's been a little trooper. It's, it's been. I've fallen in love, mate. <laughs> I have. It's just a new box, right? With Vicky. Going, Vicky the burger van. Vicky the burger van. <laughs> <laughs> nah, she's been good, mate. She's been good. The most challenging day of my life, basically. Physically, mentally, everything. I was scared shitless at least 10 times. <laughs> <laughs> I was ready to give up at least two times. <laughs> and I was breaking down a really rocky road and my arms had had so much what the dick given up I was just gonna I was just saying to myself I'm gonna crash I'm gonna crash I'm gonna crash because <laughs> I failed to turn my ABS off and I literally couldn't stop and I was just going through the yeah and it so <laughs> exhilarated at the end of it though so many challenges ups and downs troughs and peaks fantastic day <laughs> that, that's brilliant. That's brilliant. <laughs>